My dear friends, welcome to Uncaged Zoo Tours. Before we begin, I recommend and appreciate hitting the like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to join me on my tours. And we're on, coming to you live from Oak Mountain in Alabama, your host, Jacob Fibash. That's me. And today, we're going to our first wildlife center, the Treetop Nature Trail at Oak Mountains Alabama Wildlife Center. This facility was founded in 1977 and has rescued hundreds of native mammals, birds, and reptiles in Alabama. But not all the animals they rescued were returned to the wild. So today, I will showcase some rescued raptors, also known as birds of prey, and share some of their stories. Let's begin. Our first exhibit contains barn owls Lefty and Lucky. Lefty was hit by a car in October 2013, causing her left eye to be destroyed. Due to the damage, she could only see through her right eye. Lefty's partial vision would make her unable to hunt for food in the wild, so the team at the Alabama Wildlife Center gave her a permanent home right here. But what about her roommate Lucky? He came to the AWC after he suffered from a permanent head tilt after falling out of his nest. Before Lucky moved to Treetop Nature Trail in 2022, he was a foster parent for other baby barred owls. Our next two rescued raptors are black vultures. These guys are highly social, as they can share food with their family like we do, and at night, Black vultures use a communal post as a meeting place, like how our families use the kitchen to discuss things. They have a very poor sense of smell, so they follow a turkey vulture to carcasses and can work together to scare them away. However, Stan and Ollie are rescues like all the other birds. Ollie was hit by a car in May 1993. Although he wasn't badly injured, a medical examination revealed that Ollie was blind in one eye and was very thin. Ollie's partial blindness caused problems in the wild, and the AWC decided to make him a permanent resident. Stan was brought to the AWC in February 2014, after he was attacked by a pack of dogs on the side of the road. An x-ray revealed that Stan had a type of gunshot ammo called birdshot in his wing that caused him to break his wing. Stan was also very thin, and the vets believed that Stan was scavenging on the side of the road when the gunshot wound happened. Then there are barn owls Rosie and Casper, that I didn't see. But if you want to learn more about another barn owl, please refer to my Texas Wild at the Fort Worth Zoo tour. I can't get enough of vultures, and the fourth habitat contains our first turkey vultures. Unlike black vultures, Turkey vultures have a great sense of smell that allows them to locate dead animals, and their stomach acid allows them to digest almost anything that is dead. Besides, turkey vultures are very important to the environment because without them, carcasses will appear more frequently and we might get diseases from the decaying meat. Speaking of scavenging, Logan was found in a pasture in January 2014 with minor wounds and a break in his elbow joint that impaired his ability to fly. Because of this, he isn't able to fly well enough to scavenge for food and is a permanent resident. His roommate Princess is an albino turkey vulture who was first spotted in March 1994, but she disappeared. Princess was later spotted in early June when she was being chased by dogs. When Princess arrived at the AWC, she was very thin, and her weakened wings made her unable to fly, and like the others, she was a permanent resident. Out of all the birds of prey, owls are my favorites, and great horned owls are one of over 300 species of raptors in the world. Junior has been at the AWC since 2005. His nest was attacked by predators, which killed some of his siblings and drove his mom off. Junior fell out of his nest and was brought to the AWC. Although he grew up to be beautiful and strong, Junior had trouble capturing food and remains in captivity with his friend Ginny, who was brought to the AWC after being kicked around in a schoolyard by some children. 
she had broken her shoulder bones, causing her wing to droop. This injury restricted her ability to fly, making her a permanent resident. If you find an injured animal, don't kick it around. Instead, call your local wildlife center so they can take care of it. In this case, the Alabama Wildlife Center's wildlife hotline is 205-663-7930. The hotline also provides advice and information on dealing with wildlife problems and emergencies, and they have served over 100,000 people. The last two birds on the trail are these red-tailed hawks. Like Ollie and Lefty, Drummond was hit by a car, but in August 1995. She sustained injury to her wing, including a broken bone and muscle damage. While Drummond fully recovered from her injuries, she can't be released into the wild because her wing isn't fully functional. Finally is her friend Madison, who was brought to the AWC in 2007, after she was found with almost all the feathers on her right wing missing. Doctors found out that Madison's wing had extensive damage, which refrains her wings from being able to grow. Ma Madison was deemed non-releasable and has found a home at the Treetop Nature Trail with the rest of the rescued birds. And our quick adventure at the Treetop Nature Trail comes to a close. If you ever want to visit Alabama, I would highly recommend checking this place out because you'll learn how these raptors were rescued from the wild. On a lighter note, my next Uncaged Zoo tour will be at the Central Park Zoo's Tropic Zone in New York City, where we'll see piranhas, a javan peacock, tamarins, leafcutter ants, black and white ruffed lemurs, and even banded mongooses. So which animal are you excited to see the most? As always, thank you for subscribing, and thank you for watching.